Hey guys, welcome back to another With Heroes YouTube video. Uh, today we're going to be talking about my top 10 favorite mystery heroes. Um, I'm going to try and rank them from uh, number 10 being... I mean, these all these are going to be great because there are more than 10 mystery heroes. But definitely 1 being the best and 10 being the worst of them. And um, I've been excited to make this video because... I think a lot of people really underestimate how useful mystery heroes can be. Like, they might be the most common hero in the game and like the lowest tier, but I think almost every person who plays this game should consider having uh, one or two mystery heroes on their team. Oh, for anyone who doesn't know, mystery is the, like I said, the common, or it has like a, as you can see on the screen, just a gray border. Those are mystery heroes, and you'll get a lot of them. They're very like almost every single time you open a like times ten chest, you're gonna get like seven or eight of these. Um, so why even make this video? Uh, I think, like I said, mystery heroes are a lot better than people give them credit for, and sometimes they can be. I think there's like a misunderstanding that the mystery hero you choose has to be, um like the most common ones you see out there, what everyone's using. And that's not always the case. I think there are some that are really strong that are kind of underrated right now. And another thing is mystery heroes, you're gonna get so many more copies than a low, than a mythic hero that you'll be able to out level your mythic heroes because of the shard requirements and leveling them up. And higher level heroes means more skills available to them because you've unlocked farther along in their progress and just overall more stats like health attack um, defense things like that so uh, even for like pay to win players early on you're going to want to use these and leveling them doesn't feel bad because they'll apply your link buffs later so um, if you're focusing on a shock team then leveling you're going to level all the mystery shock heroes anyway because they give the best link buffs for that synergy and i'll review that in a later video but for now um we should go ahead and get started on my list uh but before we do start i should mention the reasoning on how i pick these and i'll do that individually but overall mystery heroes on your team should be used to buff your strong mythic heroes um so you're gonna see a lot of like tanks and supporters uh because i just think there are some mystery heroes who can do really good damage, and they're also on the list. But honestly, you're going to end up picking a high damage dealing mage or ranger as your mythic that you're focusing on your main team. So you really are looking for mystery heroes to round out the rest of your team, right? Uh, because almost everybody who's like been building team strategy is thinking, I'm going to buff up a really strong legend or mythic hero and make them really, really... OP and out level all the other heroes that you're kind of just finding mystery heroes that make them do that better so a lot of the skills I'm going to point out on these heroes are just like really good team wide buffs anyway let's go ahead and start so uh, number 10 is going to be Tutankhamen and I think this was hard because, you know, he's really not that great, but I'll, I will point out some of his best characteristics. So first off, he brings crossfire. And you have to remember, he's a tank. I'll, you'd put this guy in the front line. But he gives you crossfire, which um, he's going to help your team's auto attacks and skills focus a backline unit because his active skill hits two backliners and he has a 60 percent chance to apply crossfire so this is really great it like gets it gets your your damage dealers to focus a um, high priority target instead of a, a beefy frontline tank um, another great skill that he has is the resurrection as a tank this is awesome uh, I mean coming back to life and he even has an added bonus of giving the whole enemy team the entire enemy team negative 5% immunity when he dies and he'll still be alive technically you know he'll die resurrect apply this die again so this is this is a really good ability to have on a tank and it's one of the main reasons I put him as my number 10 top 10 mystery hero um we'll go ahead and move to number nine who is also kind of a tough choice but it's martin luther and uh, i'll start with his downsides the downside is he is a 
holy hero. So he takes up a really important part on most teams. A lot of holy heroes, or a lot of your mythic heroes that you're going to choose to, like, like I said, buff up to be really powerful, uh, are going to be either holy or chaos, because those are really strong factions. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about why he's good. For one, he heals, uh, uh, like he's like a tank healer, and he focuses a lot on the low HP unit. So this is really good. On an active skill, he's going to put continuous recovery of 50% on a low health unit. On top of that, uh, the whole back line on your team is also going to get a 2% armor break, which goes up when you level up his skill. So armor break is a pretty good skill. It gets you close to true damage. So that's not too bad. Uh, the second thing I wanted to point out, similar to how I did two things for two ten common, uh, Martin Luther gives the front line, the entire front line, 10% recovery at continuous for the entire um, battle. So all he has to do is be in the back line to do that, and you're going to have him in the back line either way. So I thought this was a good thing to point out for him. These all also got buffed recently, so not bad. Uh, let's go ahead and move to number eight. Um, might back out of this. My number eight will be our first damage dealer on the list. Uh, but I'm picking him for the similar reasonings as before, and that is Magellan. So, the two main things I'm going to point out for Magellan are the fact that he hits the entire enemy team. That's um, not super common, uh, but really useful. And he also gives armor break, which is not that great, but because it's not it's not like the whole. It's not like the whole backline like the other guy was. This is only three units, but still not bad. But the one thing I want to point out is he hits a whole enemy team. On top of that, he everyone who gets hit by his active skill, which is the whole enemy team, is going to lose 8% of their speed, which can make a big difference in a battle. If you think about, like, now your supporters outspeed his, now your tanks go before his, if you are if you have, like, the same leveled heroes. This is really good. And I considered putting him higher on my list just because of this, but um, because it applies on active skills, sometimes, you know, the battle's over before then, so... Uh, another thing is, is a, he's a ranger, so he'll outspeed all the other rangers and um, mages already. So you can really hurt teams that build around mages, which is really popular right now. All right, let's go ahead and move to my number seven hero, which is also a blue hero. It's Ghost. And this one's... All right, he does good damage. He applies bleed. But the only thing I wanted to point out, which was worthy of putting him on the list, is Immortal. When his HP falls below 1%, he has a 60% chance to go Immortal. That's just really good. On a damage dealing hero, like, Immortal is just probably the best defensive stat you can have on a hero. And almost no one else has this as a mystery hero. So I had to put Ghost on the list just for that. Immortal's really strong, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and move to number 6, which you probably already know about but it's witch she gets used a lot i see she might be the most common mystery hero that i see uh and that's because she just applies shock so well that almost every shock team just uses her also shock doesn't have like a super strong chaos hero so they get kind of get stuck with witch sometimes uh but i think it's worthy to say she's great damage dealer and she applies a good amount of shock giving your other shock heroes here's another one uh the benefits of the synergy bonus so let's go ahead and move on to my number five yeah we're on five now and that is i think this is when the heroes i think i think start to get really good like the bottom five are decent but the top five really separated themselves to me and where is he? Should be in this list right here. Oh, there he goes. Solomon. Solomon is a healer who brings damage reduction. To, this is this is the main thing, a reason I picked him. Like, plus damage reduction to an ally with low HP for two rounds. Damage reduction is a really good stat. And the fact that he focuses a low HP unit is awesome. So, he does healing, by the way. But I just wanted to point that out. Uh, the second thing is he comes up with resurrection as well. I already said why resurrection is good, but um, just so many good stats for a healer. Solomon, you should really consider um, if you need a healer for uh, mystery hero. And by the way, like I said, mist like tanks and healers are probably better choices for mystery heroes, just because 
you don't want to waste your mythic spot on a tank or a healer sometimes. You want you really want a damage dealer for them. All right, number four, someone I used a lot on the first time I played this game. It's Leonidas. Um, he gives plus speed to his backline. I already told you guys why that's really good. Uh, and the other thing is he has a taunt and gives himself a shield and he has damage reduction. All these stats are what, exactly what you want from a tank. Unfortunately, he doesn't have immortal and vulnerability, but trust me, he's very tanky. And where is it here? I think... He also applies silence to people. So this is, whenever he attacks someone, he has a chance to apply a silence. So if you're riding a silence team, I can tell you right now, Arthur is a better tank, but if you don't have that option available to you, definitely consider Leonidas. Really strong. All right, now we're getting to the best ones. Top three. And this one might surprise you guys, but I put Bathory's number three. And the main reason for that is Everyone knows how strong Rasputin is, and I think one of the biggest reasons he's so powerful is because of Transfusion. She has the potential to get Transfusion, which basically means lifesteal, heal herself when she does damage, and she also has a decent skill here in minus 30% of an enemy's skill point uh, on her active skill, and her active skill hits everybody. She really tries to take down other support or other supporters on your on the enemy team, and that's that's great like you always want to focus down supporters as they can be kind of a turning point in a battle right the fact that she's a ranger is great because you know faster than mages but her damage is good guys trust me i've i've seen her damage it's really good now the top two and i'm using both of these top two so i might be biased but there's a reason that i picked both of them to begin with i think they're very strong uh the the top two were really a toss-up on who is better, but I think I'm confident in saying number two is going to be Alexander. So Alexander is, mm, I call him like mini Arthur. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on top ten legendary heroes, and Arthur is probably in my top three for those. So the fact that Alexander is mini Arthur is a really, really good thing to say about him. And he's a tank that has invincibility. Every time he uses his active skill, it's just... It's just really good, guys. Like, invincibility. Like, what is that? What else should I say about it? Uh, on top of that, when he gets attacked, he applies um, bleed to the enemy hero. And as a tank, he's going to get hit by basic attacks constantly. Uh, this just helps spread bleed to the enemy team, allowing your damage dealers to do extra damage to them. Uh also brings crossfire also gets skill there were too many things that were good about this hero for me to go through all of them but trust me number two he's really strong if you need a tank even it's almost worth picking him even off synergy if you don't have a legendary or mythic tank like if you're gonna go um mystery tank and you can't pick up leonidas or toots in common because or or you can't you you want to pick this guy but if you are silence you want leonidas if you're i think it's restrain you want two ten common and if you're anything else and you need a mystery tank you want alexander he's really good continuous recovery when he gets low I, and every stat that they gave him is great for a tank like i go through all of them and they're really good for tanks so well, I just said he was, like, I basically hyped him up as being awesome. Uh, but there's actually a hero that's better than him, I, in my opinion, for a mystery hero. And it's Nightingale. Whew. When I first started playing this game, I hated this hero. Uh, she did get nerfed, apparently, um, in between the break. But I'm telling you, Nightingale was so annoying. She was out healing a lot of mythic healers. Uh, probably because she was overleveled. But... Two things, just r r straight off the bat. She comes with a costume, which gives her extra stat buffs. All right, second thing, she's part of bleed, which is a really popular um, synergy that a lot of you guys are going anyway. So just, just pick up Nightingale. She's red, it's not a really great color, you know? She doesn't take up a yellow or purple spot. So let's go through her skills real quick, just so I can hype her up even more. A support hero gives crit rate to the backline. That's awesome. Gives attack to the backline. That's like you don't want damage, right? So the fact that her main skill isn't doing damage is is great. That just means 
she's a uh, specializing that's what alexander and nightingale do so well is they specialize they're both really good at what they're meant to do and they're not like trying to be a little bit of everything which a lot of other heroes tend to do especially a mystery uh, so instant heal buffs the back line with damaging stats which is awesome uh gives the whole backline 16 percent recovery for the entire battle uh get she wants to be a little bit tanky right because a lot of times you're going to use her in the front line just because a lot of people are running two four or three three and if you're going to have three or four damage dealers you're almost always going to want to put them in the back line so your support and tanks will be in the front she gets extra speed max hp shield all these stats are good like it's hard to find a stat that is bad for her the worst stat is probably the immunity which you don't get until 10 star anyway but check it out guys recovery on three skills buffs the back line for attacking stats and even has some decent survivability nightingale is my number one mystery hero and i'd recommend her to anybody who's going bleed you're obviously already using her and if you're not going bleed and you need a healer in mystery i mean she's your girl so thanks for watching guys this was my video for I'm working on a bunch of these short informational videos. I mean, it wasn't that short, but if you like it, please uh, join the discord and let me know if there's something that you want me to expand on. Maybe a hero I didn't cover. There are definitely some honorable mentions that I wanted to bring up like werewolf, Pocahontas, um, Dartagnan, uh, who else was on there? Nostradamus almost made it. So if you have questions about those heroes i have reviewed all of them there is a tier list i'll put it in the description it's still a work in progress but it should be helpful and uh, i hope you guys enjoy the game see you later